it's like intoxicating mm. how beautiful it is. Okay. Like imagine it's completely inverting the logic of how you want to study the universe, right? Because it's postulating a symmetry to derive a force, mm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's saying we can take it as an axiom, the fact that these symmetries exist yes. and then ask what is the kind of universe mm -hmm. that we would live in if, if these symmetries exist. exist. Right? It's almost, dude, it's like, dare I say, a little religious <laughs> in some sense. It's, it's, it's insane, right? So, Yong is one of those people who completely kind of changed the, the way in which we think about trying to do theoretical physics, you know, as theoretical physicists do. And, and he came up with, the thing that really immortalized him was his formulation of something called non-abelian gauge theory which is known as Young Mil Mills theory. It's, it's a bedrock foundation for the standard model, which is one of the most successful um, theoretical ideas that we've had as human beings, okay? And it's rooted in this idea of symmetry. When they devised it, it was not at its final form. There were still problems. They were getting these things called like massless particles, where like everything had no mass, and they're like, nah. We have some and photons. Yeah, but not, yeah, but not, like, everything. not everything has no mass. And, and, and there were still a bunch of things that had to happen. Stephen Weinberg came, came in later to, to say, okay, we can actually combine that gauge theory with, with a kind of symmetry breaking, which we don't have to get into. But, but he introduced this idea of symmetry breaking. Then we get something like the Higgs, yeah. which comes in to give mass to the W and Z bosons. And so all of the standard model starts percolating mm. out of this idea that we can take symmetries of stuff, mm. right? And, and start creating physics from, those. from that axiomatic yeah. kind of framework. Are, are you starting to see why he's such a big deal no, in the no, 20th I, century? No, I 100% I get it. Because right? like, it's not the, the parody experiment is nice, but, that's but the, this stuff is just like, whoa. I feel the, the other time I felt the same way as this when we, was when we talk about the Heisenberg uncertainty. It makes me feel the same level of like, oh. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It makes it's, you feel weird, weird in a nice way, yeah. but in a weird way. Right. Yeah. I literally remember being in Terrace mm -hmm. at Princeton and hearing any number of you guys talk. Someone was constantly on about gauge theory because uh, constantly. 